So in today's video guys we got this brand new autumn limited banner that we got. When you look at it a bit closely it's uh, pretty trash right? So let's have a quick look into it right? So as you can see here there is a few pretty good units on the banner overall so far. So this is Gohan's first turn obviously since anniversary so that's obviously very good that is sort of a good enticement to summon I would say. But yet again I don't think that's enough. Uh, yet again Gohan's still like very usable I'd say in PvP but Yet again, I don't think that's going to be a big help sort of thing. Uh, we've got Goku and Bardock here as well, which I do want to mention. Uh, it should be in the news. The only good thing about this banner is the information that came along with it, right? Which I just want to double check, make sure it's in here. But what I saw in Twitter is they're going to get their plat equipment, right? Or unique equipment. So let me just double check. Uh, yeah, they, there you go. Unique equipment for Goku and Bardock, right? So that is definitely pretty huge, I would say. Yeah, again, I, I don't know if that would recommend me to say the summon on the banner or not. Actually, when does it end? Uh, five days away. You don't get long. Okay. Um, yeah, I still don't think that's going to be enough to summon. Because, yet again, like, we don't know how good the unique equipment is going to be, if it's going to be mega busted, if it's going to be mid. We just don't know that, like, any details. So it's half me to go, yeah, they're going to be number one unit in the game with their equipment, for example. Yeah, we, we just don't know. It could, like, the unique equipment could make them even worse or stuff like that. Maybe not worse, but, you know, not make them top 10 sort of thing, right? That's why, for me, I'd say that's not a big enticement to summon just yet. Once we get the details coming up, which I'm not sure exactly when, when we get that, then you can probably sort of decide there, but we'll have to see, right? So, you got Goku here, which I, I still don't mind him, but yeah, you're not going to really run him in PvP often. Uh, we've got this Goku here, he's returning a lot more on banners, so that's obviously very good. Um, who else we got? Goku and Freezer were good, but they slowly died off. I mean, have they fastly died off now? I'd probably say they slowly did, but now they're just sort of pretty... Pretty well non... Not... Well, you can still use them, but... They're not very common to see, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, these guys are obviously very good after their Zankai, so that's good, but at the same time, they're on... They've been on a few banners already. So it's not like a big deal they're on the banner. And that's it, right? So there's a few things to sort of look at before we sort of go, yep, it's good or bad sort of thing. So the roster itself, I'd say, is not too bad for a banner. But yet again, this is a bait banner. I really want to try and point that out. This is a bait banner sort of thing. It is good in one way, but I'm not too keen on it, right? So... The reason I say it's a bait ban is a few things, right? Obviously, the, the units, but the main thing is, as you can see, the, the freebies, right? So, what I can assume is every multi, which I'm not sure if I'll do them or not. Um, I could for a video. I think I might do that just for a video. Just to sort of show what you can, like, what can happen, right? But, um, yeah, as you can see, you do get uh, LFZ power plus uh, Arts Core medals, which are pretty good. You know, I, I won't lie, that's a pretty good bargain there. But yet again, this is 3,000 CC you got, you got to use first before you get that, right? So, that's a lot of CC you're in brackets wasting. Because depending how lucky you get, it might not be a complete waste. But also, every multi has a guaranteed uh, Legends Limiter, right? Now, I do want to just double check something real quick. Is there any... art oh, there is other LFs, okay. So... Let me have a look. Yeah, so these guys are technically featured, but they're not, right? So they're not on the, um, the preview banner, but as you can see there, you get Revival Goku there. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks, Beast Gohan. Uh, who else got Trunks? See, yeah, he, he needs a Zenkai saying in that Trunks. Uh, Super Saiyan there, Goku, and then Kid B, right? And I think the rest are just trashy, like, sparkings. Yeah, okay, they are. So, even though it says Legends Limited, you're not guaranteed to get one of them on the... Um, the featured characters list but like i said there is technically some unfeatured which you could get as well but there is 30 summons so you could get really lucky as well because the rates aren't actually too bad i would say for lf so they're nearly at one percent but pretty sure yeah, even these aren't one percent so you probably have a good chance to get something good on the banner but i don't know man i don't i just can't recommend people to summon mainly because legends fest is literally happening in I think about a month, roughly. Just over a month. And as you all know, like I was talking about before, if you've seen my videos before, 
Legends Fest is basically a second anniversary for Legends, right? That's why it's such a big deal for saving up if you're free to play. Because they usually typically go hard on Legends Fest. Sometimes we've even had Legends Fest be maybe slightly better than Anniversary. Not saying it will happen this year, we don't know. But, you know, it's in the possibility, right? And we all know how, how good Anniversary was this year. So it very well could happen, right? So overall, I'd probably say it's going to be a good idea to skip this banner. Even though, like I said, there is a few good units on the banner. A few good little freebies. I just don't see the point in summoning and wasting, you know, you have five summons left on this, obviously you can see here. So, that's what, uh, yeah, 15k CC, I think. I worked that out right. I think, so, somewhere around that. There's, there's a lot of CC, right? So, that's a lot you could be wasting and potentially waiting for Legends Fest and summoning on that. Because Legends Fest banners will have something like this, right? So, you can have plenty of rotations on this sort of banner, for example, this banner format. Or you waste it on this banner and you might only get trashy LFs, right? So I will quickly talk about the other banners that are up. Yet again, I'm not going to go fully in depth on these. Just a sort of, you know, quick run through, right? Um, yeah, again, if you've seen my videos before, I really hate ultra banners. As much as it sounds weird, they're just the worst. So let's go through them real quick. Just to sort of show you, right? So Super Vegito, you're not going to use them often unless you get to Zenkai, which doubt's going to happen. Are you good? Oi. A plat equipment could happen, could it? Maybe. I wouldn't... Mm. Yeah, no, nah, I still don't think it's going to happen. Not yet, anyway. But, let's say if he does get a plat equipment, he will be good then. At the moment, he's trash, right? Kid Boo, obviously not too bad after his Zenkai still. Uh, who else have got left? I'm just going to quick run through, right? Vegeta, trash. Vegeta Blue, trash. Super Vegeta, trash, right? So, not many units on the banner, which is technically good. But overall banner, trash, no pity, you know, it makes it even worse, right? Um, Kid Boo, yet again, this banner's probably going to be trash, if I remember correctly. Kid Boo, not really usable anymore. This Kid Boo, yet again, you're probably going to have a few dupes of him, because he's been on several banners before. Still good, but, you know, not the best. Um, Piccolo, yet again, not going to use. Super Saiyan Goku, you might be able to use now, if I remember correctly. He's the one that got the new equipment, which I haven't even looked at just yet. Been a bit busy today. But, um, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be runnable. Yet again, not really worth summoning for just for that. Super Jedi trash again, right? Same thing as Ultra Banner before. No pity, trash, right? So, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below how you guys feel about this new summon here, if you think it's worth summoning for, or if you're saving for Legends Fest. And, um, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you as a win the next one.